C4 Labs Paramount case. I did a review on this case back in the day. Now there's a new and improved version with a 50 millimeter fan, acrylic or wood. Here's the, I went with the acrylic since I checked out the wood one in the past. Raspberry Pi 3, Raspberry Pi 4, a bunch of different boards will fit in here no problem. It cooled amazingly well. So in this video, let's unbox, set it up, check the cooling, and check out this creative little case. So I did want to show you on their website that it does come in uh, wood. If you prefer wood, I got the clear. I think it looked really cool. And then here's the wood version. As far as the dimensions and everything else, the bases, they're all the same. It's just whether you want wood, silver and wood, or whether you want clear and black. There's a 50 millimeter fan and the heat sinks. And if it's both Pi 3, B plus, and 4B. All right, Paramount case time. 50 millimeter fan, five volt, wow. First thing I'm gonna do is just remove all the, the paper. Number two, you just gotta add the circle to the square. Okay, so here's our circle. You want the matte side showing, okay. So the three eighth screws are the smaller versions in there. The top hole is an oval. It's an optical illusion. All right, we need a screw and a nut. Okay, that's pretty self-explanatory. All right, and then we got the wing. Remember, matte side out. That's this small screw. I didn't even fit. And I think you can, um, you know, do it either way if you'd rather see the screw or you'd rather see the, the nut. But since you're already seeing the screw, you're already seeing screws on the outside, might as well keep it all uniform. All right, there we go, just line it up and then tighten. All right. We have the wing on and our circle on. Next up is the fan. Okay, so I've decided that I'm going to do it like this. It's gonna blow into the pie, and so that's how I'm gonna mount it. You can mount it either way, as an exhaust. Now, we build from here. Here's where we get our six long screws. Let's thread them through. So I'm gonna start by threading them in like this, and then I'll flip it around. Now it's only gonna fit one way, so that's the way we're gonna do it. Once you get a few of these layers on, the additional layers will be much easier, trust me. Okay, so this is where you're gonna alternate washers. So you get lots of washers here, okay. I think just pretty much for the rest of the steps. All right, next we have the hangman piece. You got lots of hangman pieces. He calls them runners. So you got Runner, you got runner, washer, runner, washer, just like that. Once you get all these runners on, you realize there's actually not a lot going on here. Pretty simple to do. All right, runners are on. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six runners, and then another six. They do want you to do another set of washers. C4 nuts, which are these. C4 nuts, but we're gonna use them backwards. We're actually gonna use them like this. The flared base is actually on the washers. So I'm gonna go ahead and Tighten this a bit, 
just to make sure it's Next piece is the windowed piece. Cool. Next, we want to go ahead and grab our next side. And that's going to eventually go on like that. And you can just kind of line up the two wings. They need to go to the same direction. Well, there's only one way that this is all going to fit. However, we do need to mount the other wing. So remember the wing is mat side out. Okay, and then now we also got to screw on the base. So this all snaps on. And then now we have all these little tiny 1 8 inch screws, which are gonna cap it off. So be really careful here. I made a slight crack there. But uh, you wanna put the pie board um, plate into the front plate. All right, so it's this part where you have the base, the bottom should have the C4 Labs. The bottom's gonna have the C4 Labs logo on the bottom. That's the bottom. And then this all should line up like that. You want the mat side up, because that's the side that's gonna look nice. And then you're gonna throw this in once you have that all lined up. And this should all just fit right in there. And this is where, there you go, just be gentle. See, now I got it all in there. And see, now it's totally locked. All right, and then we're gonna put our pie on the board, but eventually it should just look just like, like this, once the pie's in there. And no, the fan is not gonna come out the back, but I just have that showing for the moment. You have the optional rubber feet. I'm not gonna put those on but uh, you get little rubber feet. Also the heat sinks I'm not gonna put on, but the heat sinks definitely help. Those are the rubber feet I'm gonna be skipping in this video, but you just put one in each corner. All right, so this is just gonna go like that, right? So you have the porch at the back, or the front, however you wanna say it. So just thread the screw, it's just uh, four screws. Oh, okay, so it's, it's like what they do on the other ones where it's, you gotta go screw, nut, board, nut. What I haven't figured out is why is there three holes in the bottom of this? The world may never know. All right, and now our pie. All right, now we're tightening these up. Now we have our pie properly mounted, front plate properly mounted. So I'm gonna go black one on the bottom row, three over. So one, two, three to the left. It's black, it's ground. And then right next to it, two to the left, is five volt. So that's my setup there. And if you want 3.4, 3.3 volt, it's the upper right hand corner pin for the red. Black, keep it where it is. All right, well, this is the final moment here where we route the fan. Officially completed. Probably the most baller case I've ever seen. As far as creativity, aesthetics. Now, now I'm I'm glad I went with this where the where the fan is shooting towards the pie because a the label is off the fan. You can't see the label of the fan, two, which isn't a huge deal. This number two is way bigger of a deal, which is this case is all open here. So all this side is open. Like that's just air that can escape, hot air that can escape. So that part's really cool. So as you can see, the fan's actually not too bad. One, 
the previous year. So, obvious, this one is wood. This is all wood here, and there's no fan. Get with the wing, with the wing, or without, and then as you see here, it had two different styles, one with the nuts, and one with the screws. This one decided to go screw. I gotta say, this one looks way cooler. Way, way, way cooler. Look at that. All right, let's run it. We're at 33, let's rack it up. Dropping fast though. Wow, look how fast it drops. Wow, it can barely break that 40. Wow, so that big fan paying off. Really nice case. All right, so final thoughts. Um, the faceplate kind of, I broke it, but I was being really fragile, so i just say that would be my one beef for the case, which is how fragile that faceplate is, but it's a really cheap part, too. I'm sure if I just asked them, they'd send me a new one. But um, other than that, it's just, a, it was a fun to do. It was a good project, especially during quarantine. It cooled better than a lot of other cases I've checked out. It's a little pricier, but I think really what this comes down to is you either love it or you hate it. And for those really into retro pie, raspberry pie, all that stuff, um, you know, there's still gonna be a big market for this product, but that's what I think. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next time.